All right, guys, so today is the big day. We are at the Tiny Home and Glamping Show. We're getting ready to park, guys, and so far we've seen like wagons, there were glamping domes, they had the whole teepee setup for all the guests here. I'm, I'm overwhelmed and we haven't even went inside yet. I cannot wait to park and show you guys what they have here. Also, guys, if you are here for the first time or even the second time and you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel because this is what we do. We're building our own tiny home Airbnbs back in North Carolina, but we also travel and tour other Airbnbs and tiny homes just so we can get inspiration and give you guys inspiration also. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. That's cool, but definitely not something that we would be able to use. <laughs> I like the floor though. That's cool. I like the decking too. I, I don't know if this is something you can buy, but that's cool. Guys, this looks pretty sturdy. All right, guys, so this is the first one we're in. It looks like a safari tent. We have to be quick because there's a lot of people here, but you have room for a dining room. You can definitely make this work. Alright guys, so if you're ever wondering where to get that cabin-like furniture for your tiny home or yurt, this company definitely, um, I love their furniture. Apparently they have sold out everything before we got here. We were looking to make a deal, but we weren't, we didn't make it in time. However, the furniture looks amazing. Alright guys, we are here at the glamping show. I can hardly see right now, but 
If you guys can see that wagon behind me, that's like one of the things I'm most excited about going and getting. Of course, we had to stop and get food first. But guys, I cannot wait to go into that wagon. There is so much teepee huts and safari tents and so much going on here. Eric is in line getting us some food back there but I cannot wait to just get out here the first part of the video guys we were all indoors so that was all the information part of it I now want to see some of the tiny homes so I'm excited to be outside now I'm excited to be going on the tour and I can't wait for you guys to see these because you know tiny homes and schoolies and vans and they're all great but when you want to get into the you know the Airbnb rental business really really fast and you don't have that much time or money guys these can be some great options so I'm here to show you guys all the great options today on what you can do to get started in your tiny home business that's not a brick and mortar or is not gonna break the bank so we have some glamping domes here we have some safari tents here I see a wagon in the background I can't wait to show you guys everything all right guys this is so awesome so i'm inside of one of the tents and they have it set up semi for a glamping site guys there's not a bed in here but you can definitely get one or two in here and this is so gorgeous granted they want you to buy i think like six plus i don't know if you can work a deal to get I got cheap easy. Yeah, guys, so the pricing on this one wasn't even bad. And of course, like I said, this is something you can definitely get started with. They have them um, furnished out with beds and everything. This was just something um, they set up quickly to be able to take down. But if you go to their website, you can definitely see how you can get beds and different furniture inside and make this a real glamping site. I don't know if you can see inside, but this one is so gorgeous. It already has a bed set up inside here. We're gonna go inside, guys, but I just want you to see from the window. So online, you can tell that this is PVC, but here you really get an appreciation for how you can see into it and just the fact that if it's gonna really hold up to your weather, whether you live in a sunny climate like where we came from in Florida or if you're now in some place cold like the Smoky Mountains for us. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I like this one, babe. Is there a bathroom? guys so of course you know that I was really excited about this wagon I have not seen one in person and this is so freaking cute guys it is so unique so I'll start here with the wheels they're like true almost horse and carriage wheels here there looks to be some storage or something underneath the canopy is attached really tight and nicely and guys it's some good it's a good quality canopy out here Guys, there is so much more to come in this video. As you can see, there are pods, there are yurts, we have safari tents, there's actual little tiny homes everywhere. There's canopy teepees. 
I can't wait to show you guys the entire video. We're probably gonna have to do a two-part video, guys. I'm probably gonna have to break this up in two videos, but you have to promise me that you'll watch them both because they're gonna be both awesomely amazing. So we're going into the wagon right now. Crazy. I never expected it to look like this on the inside. All right, guys, we're inside the bathroom of the wagon. And I'm going to try, I'm going to really try and get this here, guys, but there's a lot of people waiting. There's a shower behind the door here. So guys, this wagon is completely covered in a canopy top, but it looks so sturdy and doable. It has a full-size window here in the bathroom. This is awesome. Oh, Alright guys, so we're going to get all the info we need for the wagon. I'm going to try and get some more footage. There's another one on the property. That one was really warm guys and kind of crowded and for good reason everyone wants to see it and I don't blame them it is awesome you can actually go on here here's the website I can definitely say when you come to the expo you get to see them in person and you get to really see what they're made of and this is one I can definitely say we would buy and I like this one pretty cool all right guys so I'm gonna take you in this tent here this look a lot more low maintenance and I'm curious to see what you can fit in here So finally in the shade because it's getting hot out here in Colorado. Can you believe it? So it's not set up guys, but I'm going to walk in here anyway. It's pretty dark and pretty hot, but I'm standing all the way up. This is going to be towards the ceiling of it. So you don't have any rain or any way for anything to come inside. I think it's going to be really good and weatherproof. It looks like you have windows here, screen windows that you can actually let some breeze in. This is so awesomely doable, guys. I cannot wait to go in here. That's cool. Look at all this room up here. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. So this is definitely one that I think is, is for the mountains because once you're up there and you open this thing entirely up, you have like extra living space. This is gonna be pretty awesome. This is cool, babe. It's huge, but it's cool. Yeah. Oh wow. So this is in Africa. Um, the whole cabin three meters in the air. So when you go up high, you start putting cross in. So it's like a walk-in shower, guys. That is crazy. And I also want my concerns about guys this one is actually a pop-up tent I don't really see much of a popping up but it looks pretty sturdy apparently this is something that you can just put together and pop up and we're gonna find out more about it this is super awesome guys you're not gonna believe it and and this is why we come to these shows because we really have to see what the materials are and if you were here you'd be able to see that this is Probably not standard, but it's tent material, meaning that it's very durable, but you can actually customize it and, and just get this up really quickly. It doesn't have to be permanent, so you probably don't need that much permitting for this one. That's awesome. There's actually a bathroom in here, guys. This thing is so spacious, I cannot believe it right now. Oh, wow. It's a little pricey. It's a shame if we, if we have a way to get that one home, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. That is super cool. 
Guys, this is a pretty good option because this is actually a full-size bed in the middle of this tent. And when I tell you, it is literal tent material. These are just zippered and screened windows. They're huge. Wherever you are, you'll definitely be able to take in the scenery. I'd be curious to see some of you guys use this in just vacant land and even in your backyard. That would be awesome. like wagon central here hard time remembering that we're still standing in a wagon because this is the bathroom here. guys this is a wagon literally with like canvas material for, for the ceiling guys they do such an amazing job here when you come to these expos you really get a sense of appreciation and also you, you get to see how creative you can be everything doesn't have to be an actual brick and mortar tiny home this is just a wagon on wheels and look how cute it is Could you imagine you don't even have to just use these ones for glamping guys this can be your common area this can be your business they have this entire side opened up with um what appears to be some kind of bar but you can use your imagination here and do whatever you wish i just love this company guys it's called the Conestoga wagon company i guess i'll get close up here All right, guys, this is the first one we got to come in, and no one's waiting and no one's in here. And I am going to get every inch of this thing for you guys. So, this is one of the smaller wagons. As you heard, you can probably order it without the bathroom or with the bathroom. If you need to get started and add the bathroom later, they will also do that. It has enough room for the bed. Oh guys, these actually come furnished also with the pricing. And I think they started at about 40,000, which was not bad furnished. That one, um, that one of course did not have a bathroom. The one that started at 40,000, but guys, I'm guessing you can wheel and deal and try to drop some amenities and some furniture. We did ask if you can get it unfurnished and you can, and that will lessen the price. So that uh, is so I'm crazy. Put stainless countertops as an option. Mm -hmm. yep. No, I like, I, I, like, like I like the wood. I like the wood. Top really. of it. This whole top section top is top open. Top. This whole section is open. Little we'll hammer or like a, like a rusty chip type of look, you know? Yeah, like a barn, barn yeah. Really yeah. Like yeah. I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek of some of the things that is going to come up in the second video. I won't be able to get it all in this, but if you are still with me, there's tiny homes right around the corner, guys. So I can't wait to show you guys these bills and tell you all about the companies that's still doing it. So stay tuned. 
And guys, a lot of you, we appreciate you so much for watching the videos, but please like and subscribe and share with your friends. There's a dome over there in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is an open screen dome. I cannot wait to go walk through that. I'm gonna show you guys all these wagons and all the tiny homes and everything they have to offer. All right, guys, we have here kind of a tiki hut and I love this thing. Let's go see inside. I noticed that it's not furnished, but that's okay because you have to use your imagination with some of this. And it's pretty spacious inside. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Welcome. Well, I already like the total price on estimate. This one is pretty neutral on the inside. It is so light and bright. You have that kind of skylight at the top. I'm loving the structure. Just the structure itself gives you so much like aesthetics to look at. This is already like deco art and I'm, I'm loving it guys. So we're gonna get some information on this one. I'll be able to tell you where you can go to see more pictures and videos of this, where you can get more pricing. I'm sure this guy is gonna give me some info on it. Let's go, tell me about this tent. It is gorgeous. Um, so my name's Nick. I'm actually the artist. Uh, this was my design. Oh dude, um, way to go. Uh, topographic map of the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, which is the national park located in Montrose, where we are. Cool. Um, yeah, this is a 20-foot teepee. Uh, we offer up to a 28 as our largest. This is so awesome. If this is your style and you're looking to get into the Airbnb business or glumping business, this is going to be a cost-effective way. This is going to get you to avoid some of those hard permitting questions that I always get. This is where you start, and that's why I come to these expos so you guys can see what's available to you. All right, guys, this one was so nice to walk through. You had a huge bathroom back there, and I just want you guys to really see the deck because this is one that you can just build. You can have extra eating area out here. They have it set up as a dining room. They have an extra... Um, seating area you have all these windows that can go around your deck guys this one was pretty sturdy too I like the materials used you can actually see that all this light comes down on the inside I think once you have your deck and your structure that's what's really gonna make it and guys this this one behind it was built by them too and this one is on wheels and so we're really excited about that one because this is going to limit a lot of your permitting and get you up and running a lot faster so let's check that one out this one's called the bush tech safari all right guys so this one is on basically a wheeled platform so the permitting for this one is going to be a little bit more different and that's why we're looking at this one because you can get away with a little bit because it's basically built up on a trailer frame so you have your hitch here you can get this on wheels <laughs> This is so awesome. They were out there. They were out there when I was out there last Friday doing all the locate utility locates, finding where everything ends, where we can plug in to expand and all that. This is cute. Guys, you can actually get doors on this one. All right, guys, this one is a safari tent and this one, I actually like these guys because you know what? You can get into the Airbnb business so much quicker with minimal furniture and just going for something that you can put up quickly that your guests gonna appreciate. And guys, this is actually a bell tent and this one section can sleep a couple people and it's actually separated here in the middle, but you also have a zipper that you can actually make this one room and you have a second side over here. So this could be extra sleeping area. You could open it from right here. And as you can tell, they have enough room to have their carpet here, some cooking set up. You also have some seating, but you can definitely do this however you needed it to be. And this would be able to work for you. So this is actually a star bell tent. So guys, this is another tent 
and pretty big. Oh, this one's actually a really good size. So you can get your bed in here, you can get your couch, whatever set up. I do like the material used. I can feel how solid it is under my feet already. Here's going to be um, some information. So this is actually a franchise, guys. Guys, this is so spacious and I just love the way the insulation kind of drapes down off of the ceiling. It makes this perfect kind of cocoon in the center and it's just so beautiful. It just reminds me of just perfect white natural linens. Oh, it's big in here. Yeah, it's spacious. <sighs> I can't believe that they have a whole table inside this, right? <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Are you guys, everyone's kind of packing up now to go, huh? Oh, good. We still have people coming through. Right. So, um... Oh. Yeah, I like this one. Can we get a little bit of information on them? We're kind of like late to the show today. And this one is so cute I just love the color scheme of this one all the neutral colors and all the choices of different 
materials used is so awesome. All right guys, so we are getting ready to pack this thing up. This is the first time that I was able to get Eric on the side. He's been working so hard to get this thing all packed up and to learn everything about it so when we go back home, we can definitely put it together. So we're gonna pack it up right now and I cannot wait for us to get on the road. We have 21 hours to drive, guys. Please stick around with us and we're gonna get this thing back to North Carolina. We're so thankful that we were able to have this opportunity and actually drive back safely with no damages to North Carolina. And guys, we're back home safe. We thank you so much for following us and our journey. And, you know, just subscribe to the channel and we have so much more to offer you guys. And we cannot wait until we actually start making the real progress on this property and we get our working on our schoolie. And that's going to be our converted school bus that we put on Airbnb. Guys, I'm so excited for the next steps that we're going to make on this property and I hope that you're here to catch every bit of it.